Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca Martinez and let's make some pumpkin mac and cheese. To start in a high speed blender, add one cup of raw cashews that have been soaked for at least two hours or boiled, one garlic clove, in addition to a whole can of pumpkin puree. I wanted the recipe to include a whole can because who wants to save half of it? In addition to some onion powder, smoked paprika, chili powder, and some cayenne pepper, toss it all in with three cups of veggie broth or water. Add one tablespoon of rice vinegar. In addition to two tablespoons of white miso paste or red miso paste, both work here. Add one fourth cup of nutritional yeast. and two medial dates for sweetness and blend until completely smooth. Now, separately roast a whole cauliflower and its florets until nicely charred. I used a baking mat so as not to use any oil. Instead of using regular pasta, I chose to use 16 ounces or one pound of legume pasta, preferably one that uses just a single ingredient. Cook it according to directions, and then in a large pot, start to heat that creamy pumpkin mac and cheese sauce until nicely warmed through. In little portions, add some of the pasta in addition to some of the cauliflower, making sure that it's fully coated and nothing gets left behind, or some of the noodles and the cauliflower are left without sauce. It's easiest to do this in a really large pan and in sections. Once everything is nicely coated, that's basically it. This meal can be made in 30 minutes or less depending on how quick you are in the kitchen. It's super hearty and protein packed and it's one of my go-to staples in the house. Be sure to subscribe guys for more content if you enjoyed this recipe and stay tuned for next Friday for another full recipe and daily shorts. See you next time.